Well, speaking of, if if this next shit was right, then I want to be wrong more often. For some one of the women's titles that they have here, Mercedes Moon with Camille against Emmy Sakura. Emmy Sakura. It's good to see that Margaret Cho found work. Oh, stop it. Come, what the fuck? Mercedes looks like Mildred Burke all of a sudden next to Emmy Sakura. She's not dressed like Freddie Mercury anymore, but it seemed like she had like piano keys on her uh, skirt. So yeah. she's still involved with music. Good to see. You know what Emmy Sakura would have if she had oh. nuts on her chest? Chestnuts. You know what Emmy Sakura would oh. have yeah, if I... she had nuts on the wall? Walnuts. You know what Emmy Sakura would have if she had nuts on her chin? Tom, tell it who. That's exactly right. Why do these idiots think that this Japanese outlaw girl bullshit should be on national television? They all look like they're doing a Saturday Night Live sketch. The funny faces they make and the poses and the sloppy work and the ridiculous outfits and... Usually there's a size issue that they're five foot nothing and weigh 62 pounds. That's not the case here with uh, the Japanese, you know, Rosie O'Donnell. Hey, are international wrestlers who are not living in the States, who come to the States, work for AEW and go back home, are they part of the putative class? For the potential class action lawsuit where we were figuring out the other day the salaries and who's included, who's not. Like at Emi Sakura, if she lives in Japan and comes to AEW and works a few times a year and goes home, is she part no. of the 290? No, because she would be an independent contractor that, right. unless, unless there was some exclusivity here in this country on her contract or agreement that violated or crossed some line. But yeah, so they... They're paying these people. are not even figured into those tens of millions of dollars they paid the other people. But, uh, but it's just ridiculous. And they've been doing this for five years. Who wants to see these clown show pretend wrestlers? I, I can understand when old Twinkle Toes was around. Kenny loved them. They're all his personal friends, but he's not there anymore. Can't we get a little relief? Is this a sign Kenny's about to come back? Good Lord, what is he Riho, if, these if around? Riho, if Riho shows up on AEW TV within the next month, do you think Kenny Omega is absolutely coming back? It, it would be a good indication. It's like she's the canary in the coal mine. And here comes the other fucking Tweety Bird. But so, it, it, did you see where Mercedes tried to run old Emmy Sakura's head into the turnbuckle and she missed the turnbuckle by foot with I her see, own head? I did see that. Her yes. own fucking head. She could not run into a stationary target. <laughs> she sold it. <laughs> the thing was not moving. It was not on a fucking swivel. She, it was her head. It's connect, <laughs> the head is connected to her body. She should have been able to flung her fucking head into a goddamn immovable object. I would have to think flinging your head into the turnbuckle is like one of the early things you would learn after learning how to, you know, do the basic stuff in wrestling school. Well, and, and the, they claim she's a trainer. The announcers say she trains. The, I, I can believe it from seeing all these other fucking half-priced fucking discount great value <laughs> outlaw fucking women. This screaming Pillsbury dough girl fat fucking bowl of Japanese pudding. At one point, she came up behind Camille and gave Camille five fake head rams into the railing. So now Camille's aura is ruined because she was selling obviously fake shit before she's ever been physically challenged. And it's especially by this middle-aged Ozempic patient. And then, I don't know if she's on Ozempic. Well, maybe it's the other, the opposite of that that makes you gain weight. What's that? Uh, lard injected directly into her veins, I guess. <laughs> and then suddenly, out of basically nowhere, Camille tripped Emmy and Mercedes got a half-assed chin lock with no leverage that looked fake as fuck because the 
the fat girl could have just turned right out of it and she tapped out. So then the heels went to beat her up further, but music played and here comes Chris Statlander. And she had a brief flurry with Camille and then Camille took a great bump over the top rope. And again, especially because they were going to knew they knew they were going to knew they knew they were going to do this finish. If anybody here knew what they were doing, Emmy Sakura would have never touched Camille. Because why would you let, again, this fat, dumpy, underneath, sloppy, fake-looking fucking girl have offense on Camille, who is the bodyguard of your big investment, and you know you're going to do something with your other big girl, Chris Statlander? What the fuck? And, and Chris Statlander and Camille could be a great deal, not in this company, because nobody knows what they're doing or how to build anything, and not to start it after one of the worst women's wrestling matches that's ever been televised. So they got that going for them. I don't know. Did, did, did you like it? No, of course I didn't like it. What kind of question is that? Well, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm not the only one. You know, Mercedes Monet is dead in the water. And then you add Emmy Sakura. Tony's got the big TV money. What is the first thing he... Who's the first person he brings in the TV? Emmy Sakura. And now that I know Mercedes is bald, I can't not look for it. Well, no, she's not bald. It's just she has her hair like... She's down wearing a fucking wig. Over her own hair. Well, if you're wearing she's a wig, not, you're... not bald. <laughs> if you're wearing a wig, you're either bald or close to it. Well, no, she just wants For to heaven's look, sake. She wants to look flashy. She needs to... You know, not yeah. everyone could be a sexy red. <sighs> anyway, I'm, I keep waiting for her, her fucking hair to fall off. See, that's now. what makes the matches good now. And why doesn't one of the... I was about to say one of the heels, but she's the heel. I mean, Sakura was the baby face here. Now that I think about it, I didn't even realize Well, that. that's... <laughs> <laughs> what I'm just telling you.